technology and special 2.9% APR financing. You're watching 13 News, the spirit of Hampton Roads. 13 News at 11 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Martina Mobley. And I'm David Allen. We begin tonight with breaking news. Two people have been shot in Chesapeake and the gunman is still on the run. It happened about 90 minutes ago at the BJ's Wholesale on Taylor Road. Police say a man shot and killed his sister-in-law in the parking lot, then walked inside the store and opened fire on his estranged wife. 13 News reporter Sala Kim is live at the scene with the late breaking details. Well, Regina and David, we are live here at BJ's Wholesale Club right now. Police are still on the scene behind me investigating and surveying this area. We're going to show you some video of the crime scene right now. Here's what police say happened. A man comes to the BJ's parking lot and shoots his sister-in-law who was sitting inside her car waiting for her sister who works at BJ's. That sister-in-law is shot and dies on the scene. Then the man goes inside to BJ's and shoots his wife who was working there. His wife is injured and taken to a local hospital being treated for her wounds. We talked to some shoppers out here tonight and they tell me they're shocked to hear about this news. Crazy for real because it's I don't know. It's real crazy. So, I don't know. All I know is I ain't coming up in here no more. Now, some BJ's employees were out here tonight, congregated here. They tell me they're concerned about the well-being of their fellow co-worker, and they were out here just to see what was going on. BJ's also tells me they are going to issue a statement tomorrow. Meanwhile, the suspect is still on the loose tonight. Police don't have a detailed description on the sus suspect, except for the fact that he is driving a blue van. We're live in Chesapeake. Sala Kim, 13 News. A man is in critical condition after an early morning shooting outside a Norfolk church. Police found the man lying on Vine Street outside of St. Paul's Church of Christ. He had been shot several times. Neighbors called police after hearing the gunfire, followed by pleas for help. No word on suspects or a motive for the shooting. A long prison sentence is handed down to a child molester who was caught in the act. 71-year-old George Jones gets life in prison plus 30 years. Jones was raping a six-year-old girl when her mother walked in on the abuse. It's Jones's third conviction for child sex crimes. After weeks of speculation, charges are filed against two Duke University lacrosse players in connection to an off-campus rape case. Colin Finnerty and Reed Sigelman are accused of raping a stripper during a house party. Defense attorneys say the two Duke University sophomores are innocent and may not have been at the house where the alleged crime occurred. Now, locally, one university is addressing the issue of physical and sexual abuse. Tonight, Christopher Newport University held its first ever violence rally in March. 13 News reporter Lindsay Roberts is live at CNU. And Lindsay, the university hopes it can educate both students and the public. That's right, Regina. Organizers want students here at CNU to realize that while CNU is a very safe campus, students here can and are being sexually assaulted. Coming together, free our lives. We will not be victimized. These are the first of many steps students at Christopher Newport University are vowing to take to stop sexual assaults. Statistics show one in every four women in Virginia has been the victim of sexual assault. College campuses are the most likely location. It's really sobering to look around and saying, okay, I have three other roommates. And, you know, just looking and being like, okay, well, who's the one? It's pretty scary. Because, you, you know, that could happen to anybody, so. With this wake-up call, organizers want to raise awareness with all students, women and men. Being in a fraternity, we have a lot of bad reputations for stuff like this, and we, a lot of us wanted to come out and try and change the stereotypes. Jim began to kiss her, and she pushed him off. Christina Montoya, now a victim advocate, was, as a teen, repeatedly assaulted by a boyfriend. And for the first time, she's sharing her emotional story. He had his way with me, unfortunately, and not too long after that, he started hitting me. And so I, I endured uh, physical and, and sexual abuse for four years. She hopes this Take Back the Night event shines much-needed light on the problem and empowers other victims to take back their lives. And I want them to know that they don't have to uh, be alone in this journey from victim to survivor. Fine art students plan to use the leftover wax from tonight's vigil to create a sculpture that will be on permanent display here at the university. Live in Newport News tonight, Lindsay Roberts, 13 News. 
Now to the latest on the Norfolk Ford plant. Today, local UAW leaders traveled to Chicago to meet with national union leaders. They're looking to try and put together a benefit package for the 2,400 employees who will be losing their jobs. Last week, Ford announced it will close the plant in Norfolk here in 2008. It's a decision company officials say is final. Union officials will meet behind closed doors again tomorrow. New tonight, Chesapeake police are looking for a pair of women wanted for identity theft. Police say Sabrina Holman and Alicia Hunt have gotten more than $200,000 in merchandise by writing counterfeit checks. It's believed the women have used stolen driver's licenses and stolen mail to get the information they need. Police say Holman and Hunt then made fake checks on a home computer. If you have an overdue library book, it might be time to come clean. Libraries on the south side are going to extreme lengths to get you to pay the fines. They even want to put a black mark on your credit report. It's the Story 13 News reporter Vince Kelly is working tonight along with our partners at The Pilot. At the Chesapeake Library, overdue books are a problem. Keep your book out too long. And the fine is 15 cents a day, except for bestsellers where we charge 25 cents a day. The money adds up. The Chesapeake Library collected over $300,000 in fines and lost books last year. I'm showing a fine of $6.80. And if the library can't collect, Treasurer Barbara Carraway can. If we can locate an employment for that patron, then we will issue a lien, which is similar to a garnishment. No, no, <laughs> no I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, they will. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Some library patrons can't believe it, but it's true. And not only that, Caraway can get the money from your state income tax return or issue a court summons. The sheriff knocks on your door. Yes. Says you got an overdue book. Yes. Come see. Yes. It's pretty effective. And if you think it's extreme, let's go to the books. Caraway collected over $69,000 in fines and $33,000 in recovered books just last year. Since 1998, the city collected over $352,000 in fines and $176,000 in recovered books. It is a lot of money, and the desire isn't to collect it so that we can beef up our book account. Sure. The desire is to get the books back on the shelf so that they're available for somebody else. Vince Kelly, 13 News. More than 400 sailors are heading out to the war on terror. The crew of the USS Trenton left Naval Station Norfolk this morning for the Mediterranean Sea. That's while they'll provide strike support for other ships in the region. The USS James Williams will join them at a later time. Both are expected back in mid-October. While the Trenton was leaving the USS USNS Spica returned to Naval Station Norfolk today. The crew of 103 civilian merchant mariners and 26 sailors spent six months at sea. While away, they su provided support to the USS Theodore Roosevelt and the USS Nassau strike group. President Bush announces another small shakeup at the White House. Mr. Bush announced today Rob Portman has been nominated to be the new budget director. Then the president told reporters Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld isn't going anywhere. Six retired generals involved in the war in Iraq say Rumsfeld should resign. They accuse him of poor execution and failing to listen to his military advisors. So I hear the voices, and I read the front page, and I know the speculation, but I'm the decider, and I decide what is best, and what's best is for Don Rumsfeld to remain as the Secretary of Defense. Today, Rumsfeld also publicly stated he won't step down despite the political pressure. A health alert in Virginia Beach. That's where animal control has picked up a rabbit raccoon. The sick raccoon was scooped up in Great Neck on Adam Keeling Road. It had attacked a dog, which is extremely unusual behavior for a raccoon. Animal control wants you to give them a call if your pet has had exposure to wild animals in the area. For tips on what to look out for, log on to WVEC.com. Next at 11, hopes and prayers at Norfolk State University. Students hold a candlelight vigil for an NSU professor who's jailed in Ethiopia. We'll explain why he's behind bars. And an eye-opening experience for a little boy inside his new game of checkers was a picture of a naked woman. And Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, our proud parents, will tell you what they've named the baby girl. And temperatures will become quite spring-like over the course of the next several days. I'll let you know if that means any moisture moving in from the south in addition to the warmer southerly breezes. Food shouldn't be a gambling commodity. It should be a sure bet. 
But there are hungry families right here in our community, like the elderly who have to choose between food and medicine and children who attend school hungry. For $30, you can place a sure bet that you'll be helping to eliminate hunger in our community. Join us April 20th for Tastefully Yours for fine wine and fabulous food, because at the food bank, we put the fun and fundraising. Now's the best time to begin your adventure in the most award-winning brand of 4x4s. Like Jeep Commander, the most capable seven-passenger 4x4. Jeep Wrangler, America's original 4x4. Jeep Liberty, the best-selling SUV in its class. And Jeep Grand Cherokee with five stars, the government's highest crash test rating. Announcing a $1,000 April bonus cash. Plus get an additional $2,500 cash allowance for a combined cash allowance of $3,500 on Jeep Grand Cherokee. Hurry, offer ends May 1st. Hi, what's Sprint's new fair and flexible plan? Unlimited night calling starts at 7 p.m. Whoa, 7 p.m.? That's, that's, what's the word? Why don't we spin the wheel of adjectives? That's phenomenal! Unlimited night calling now starts at 7 p.m. with fair and flexible. So you control your plan, it doesn't control you. Available on Sprint or Nextel products. There is definitely a stereotype in the industry. Mark McMullen knows most car guys go for the quick sale. At Freedom Automotive, they do things differently. Our salespeople's goal is to set up a long-term relationship with their customer. Kind of unusual coming from a car dealer. But then Freedom Automotive is a different kind of dealership. When we're hiring a prospective salesperson, integrity and honesty are all part of the package. Freedom Automotive. That certainly is one of the biggest things that makes Freedom different. Play the Virginia Lottery's new Harley-Davidson Ultimate Ride Scratcher, and you could win a brand new Harley-Davidson motorcycle. We'll even throw in this rugged carrying case. The Harley-Davidson Ultimate Ride, featuring the ultimate prize. Both a new Harley-Davidson Fat Boy motorcycle and a Ford Harley-Davidson F-150. Top cash prize, $150 grand. It's a win-win opportunity for Harley lovers. Hyundai's Proving Grounds, the perfect place to announce the Hyundai Challenge. We're out to prove that our new Sonata is the best value running. Here are the stats. More standard safety features and interior space than a Honda Accord. America's best warranty. $4,500 less than Accord. Need more data? Go to our best Proving Ground. Your nearest Hyundai dealer. Take the Hyundai Challenge and then take your pick on Sonata. A $199 a month lease, up to $2,500 cash back or 2.9% APR for up to 60 months and $1,000 bonus cash. Hurry, ends May 1st. From 13 News, the spirit of Hampton Roads. This is 13 News at 11. Live with Regina Mobley and David Allen. From the 13 News Weather Lab, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson. And 13 News Sports with Scott Cash. Tonight, hundreds of students gathered to raise awareness for a former Norfolk State professor imprisoned in Ethiopia. Dr. Jakob Haley Merriam left NSU last year to pursue a parliament seat in his home country. He ran as a member of the main political opposition party and won by a landslide. But in October, the Ethiopian government imprisoned Haley Merriam for promoting democracy. Tonight, students held a candlelight vigil in his honor. All of the students are concerned, and we definitely want to let the family know that we are here for them due to the fact that they do live here in the Hampton Roads community. Prior to running for a parliamentary seat, Haley Merriam served at the U.N. as a prosecutor in the Rwanda genocide. Wildlife officials are no longer certain they've caught the bear that killed a six-year-old girl in Tennessee. Initial tests on the bear's remains do not turn up any evidence of rabies or human remains. Scientists are now turning to DNA in hopes of finding a match. The little girl was vacationing with her family when the bear attacked them at a popular swimming hole. Three women are dead in a mass shooting in St. Louis, Missouri. Police say the gunman shot his estranged wife before heading to, to the catering company where he used to work. He killed the business owner and her daughter, then committed suicide. Co-workers say the gunman had just been fired from his job. An Oklahoma judge issues a gag order in the Jamie Rose Bolin murder case. The ruling came after defense attorneys argued inflammatory rhetoric was fueling news coverage of the case. Kevin Underwood is accused of killing the 10-year-old girl and slicing her neck open with a hacksaw. Police say he planned to cannibalize her. During Underwood's court hearing yesterday, police arrested a man who yelled, baby killer, let's string him up. 
A Florida man gets a shock when his grandson opens a game of checkers he bought at a store. As the six-year-old boy pulled out the game board, something caught his eye. It was a picture of a naked woman with sexually suggestive text. The cardboard picture was used to divide the checkerboard in pieces. The game spender believes the mistake was made in China, where the cardboard is recycled. According to the, the distributor, he believed that it was just an oversight. But it's the kind of oversight that really is something that really can't be tolerated. The store pulled the rest of the game boards off its shelves. The Tom Kitten has arrived. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes had a baby girl today. Her name is Suri, and she weighs 7 pounds, 7 ounces. Suri is a Persian name that means red rose. Both mother and daughter are said to be doing well. It's the first child for Holmes. Cruise has an adopted son and daughter from his marriage to Nicole Kidman. Now, your 13 News Weather Lab forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Jeff Lawson. The strange spring pattern continues across the U.S. with temperatures way, way above normal in Texas and way below normal here. Eventually, it's probably going to flip-flop. And in fact, I have a hint of that coming up in the forecast. Right now, nothing on Weather Lab radar, so let's get right to the forecast as we go through tonight. Mainly clear skies, seasonably chilly conditions. That means most spots are going to get down into the 40s. It looks like mid to upper 40s. If you're right along the water's edge, anywhere that a northerly breeze can affect you might be closer to 50. If you're inland even more, probably more like the low to mid 40s. But that's pretty good range in terms of what I expect tonight. Sunset earlier at 742. Satellite shot's going to show the crystal clear skies across the region, putting it all into motion. You'll see the closest clouds right now way over to the south around Georgia. And those are streaming to the south and the east, so obviously they aren't going to affect us anytime soon. We're not going to look for the clouds that are offshore to move back west against the prevailing winds, so we don't have to worry about those. And that means lots of sunshine again tomorrow. As I mentioned, the closest clouds sitting uh, pretty far down to the south. There's a little bit of a front down there. I wanted to show you the wider view now and put that on here. There's actually two fronts that you can see. Here's the main one that's out in the middle part of the country. And then stemming off of that, here's where we have a little bit of a warm front turning into a cold front. Eventually, that's what we start to see is some of the warmer air that's building around Memphis. And as I mentioned, temperatures close to 100 in Texas today. Uh, 98 I saw, and it may have gotten even hotter than that in Dallas. So we have that kind of warmth that's slowly but surely going to replace these cooler temperatures that we have locally. Again, right now, 45 in Newport News, still in the 50s down around Ahoski. Most spots, actually, across the south side, either upper 40s to near 50, with 54, some of the milder readings from Edenton down to Ahoski. That's pretty much on target with what we saw yesterday. If you're living and watching down across North Carolina to the south, well, it's a little cooler tonight than it was at 11 last night. If you're watching Northern Neck, Eastern Shore, it's a couple of degrees milder than it was last night. Here at Norfolk, in areas of the metro region, no change at all. So pretty similar, in other words. Winds right now have been shifting. They were northerly, then they were westerly. Now they're out of the southwest. They'll be pretty light most of the night. And I expect later tonight start to shift a little bit more out of the north. Overnight, we're going to look for the clear skies to continue. As I said, that means lots of sunshine to start your day tomorrow and sunshine to finish it as well. Temperatures similar to today, although we'll bump them up another few degrees. Remember, today was a lot warmer inland, and so will tomorrow be. We'll talk details on that in a second. Getting into Thursday, a lot of sunshine still, but by Friday, some clouds coming in. High today, 60 degrees. Low last night, 45. Tonight, mainly clear and seasonable. Mid to upper 40s for most spots. Getting into tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 60s. But again, that's pretty typical for this time of year, and that means typical temperatures inland as well. For this time of year, inland areas are usually in the low to mid 70s. And I expect that's what we'll see again tomorrow. That's the difference the water makes this time of year and your proximity to it. So by Thursday, mid-70s, even warmer temperatures inland, and then still low to mid-70s most of the next week. Best chance for any rain, a couple of showers or storms possible late Friday. Right now I'm hoping that they'll wait and not be during the evening hours when people are getting off work and trying to do a lot of stuff heading into your weekend. But even then, it does look like if we can hold that off, it may come Saturday or Sunday instead. So, all right. We'll all take right. It. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah.
are we talking about hockey tonight? There's some unusual things going on on the ice. You know, the usual stuff this time of the year. Admiral's kind of really getting ready for this one. We've got baseball just ahead, too. The Nationals with trouble, not just off the field. That's just due to their rough start, but off the field in the front office, that is. We'll explain. And, yes, could this be the new game face for the Admirals in the playoffs? Kind of liking it, aren't you? This weather segment is brought to you by Dodge. the time to get your family in a grand caravan during the Dodge annual minivan event. Drive our most trusted minivan with features like best-in-class cargo capacity, park assist backup sensors, and the revolutionary stow-and-go. Features Toyota and Honda minivans just don't have. Plus, get a DVD system at no extra charge on special editions. So what are you waiting for? Get the best deal, the best value, all in the best minivan. And now get $4,500 in combined cash allowances on Grand Caravan. The best-selling minivan of all time, only at Dodge's annual minivan event. Target House is a home for families whose children receive treatment at St. Jude. Well, my son, Louis, at his uh, one-year checkup was diagnosed with a malignant brain tumor. A lot of times when they first get in here, they can't even tell me what their child's disease is because I haven't even learned it yet. We were very shocked. We weren't thinking cancer. Target House is a way for kids just to be kids no matter what they're battling. It's definitely a huge source of comfort for our family. I will always be grateful and in debt to everyone here. Appetite? Get IHOP's new Trail Boss breakfast. Juicy T-bone, ham, country-style sausage or bacon served with your favorite size starting at $5.99. New Trail Boss breakfast at IHOP. Come hungry, leave happy. The miracle of the Kia Spectra is not its quality engineering. Not that it has six speaker sound and six standard airbags. Not that it's backed by Kia's 10-year warranty. The miracle of Spectra is that it starts at around $13.5. And right now, from Kia, people can get cash back. The Kia Spectra and the Spectra 5, there are miracles all around us. There goes one now. Visit your Hampton Roads Kia retailers. And now, 13 News Sports with Brian Smith. Well, the Admirals' best-of-seven game series with Hershey gets underway tomorrow night from Pennsylvania. Norfolk this time of the year. Gets a little inspired by various rituals. For example, beards during the playoffs. There's been an issue here. Martin St. Pierre's putting a mohawk. He's one of several admirals with the landing strip of hairdo. Uh, most are sticking with the facial hair. But, you know, how did this kind of whole thing come about? Well, let's ha hear from St. Pierre. And it's just giving us a little edge. We tried to, you know, we tried it a little bit earlier in the year, so uh, it's just giving it, uh, giving us a little edge, a little different. All right, you know, beach block. Obviously, we're gonna anchor the playoff beers, but we'll try the uh, the Mohawk for this one. I don't know if everybody will be doing it, but uh, you know, some guys like to do that kind of stuff, or you know, just come together as a team. But uh, I don't think I'll be doing this. No, you will not see Coach traveling with a Mohawk at all. So. Uh, but uh, certain guys did it. They, you know, they wanted to do it. And, you know, there's all sorts of superstitions in the playoffs. No Mohawk for this kid, I guess. Uh, I'm too old. They're all 20 years old. They can pull it off. Uh, and my head's a little deformed, so it wouldn't look good anyways. You said you had some dents in it or something? Yeah, I've been punched in it too many times, I think. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> oh, to baseball tonight, the Tides back in the win column. They wind up edging out Rochester 4-3. to three. Jeremy Gonzalez picking up the win. He improves to 1-1. One one. Kaz Matsui on a rehab assignment. Two RBIs as part of a three-run fifth inning. Uh, on to Major League Baseball. The Washington Nationals haven't been the best off the, off the best starts this season. Now it appears trouble has beset its top front office official. GM Jim Bowden was charged with driving under the influence of alcohol after allegedly running a stop sign in Florida. Uh, this happened over the past weekend with the team series with the Marlins. 
Prior to being stopped, Bowden and his girlfriend were reportedly involved in a physical altercation that left him with scratches and resulted in battery and resisting arrest charges against her. According to police, Bowden refused to take a breath alcohol test. Uh, he, in a statement released through the team, said he intends to plead not guilty. The Nationals themselves were in Philadelphia tonight, taking on the Phillies, no score. Aaron Rowan winds up hitting his shot down the line in left field. Alfonso Soriano coming up firing the relay to Royce Clayton. And, yeah, they get that out at home plate. Game still scoreless. We pick it up, bottom fourth. Man on first, nobody out, 4-1 Nationals. Pat Burrell, deep long out. Phillies cut the margin to 4-3 for Burrell. It was a six of the year. We go to the A, Nationals up 4-3. Runners at first and second, Virginia Beach native Ryan Zimmerman. Going the opposite field off of, off of Rhodes. And Jose Vidro come on down. Nationals go on to win your final 10-3. to, to three. Uh, Zimmerman winds up going 2-4 for four with three RBIs. Let's talk Yankees and Blue Jays. Yes, Yankee fans in attendance today. Alex Rodriguez going long and out. 3 nothing Bronx Bombers. They took a 4 nothing lead before the Blue Jays started rallying. Troy Gloss off the big unit. Randy Johnson, two-run job. That winds up narrowing the margin at 4-3. to three. Later on, Alex Rios coming through off the big unit. Toronto pounds the Yankees, your final 10-5. to five. Also, College Hoops News, Gonzaga forward Adam Morrison will reportedly forego his final season uh, in college to, to go to the NBA draft this year. A source close to Morrison says he's actually signed off uh, on an agent. He averaged 28 points, won the scoring title, and was also West Coast Conference Player of the Year. Got to mention, too, VCU found its replacement for Jeff Capel as its head coach. They've dub Anthony Grant, who was Billy Donovan's top assistant in Florida. And as you well know, the Gators wind up winning the national title, so that's a yeah. big coup uh, for uh, the Rams. So, good, uh, good, good news for them. them. All right. right. Thanks so much, Brian. Sure. Your wake-up forecast from Jeff when we come back. Jimmy reinvents the dynamic duo. I'm glad you're single because my goal is to become your sidekick. Like I would be your Robin and we travel around having fun. That's a bit sad and a little creepy. Tonight, Cheryl Hines on an all-new Jimmy Kimmel Live. Late night, only on ABC. It's time to replace your old ride with a new Honda. Save like never before on the full Honda line at your Hampton Roads Honda dealer. Accord, Civic, everything's on sale. Drastic savings are this week only. Visit HamptonRoadsHondaDealers.com. You could say my job's for the dogs, and cats, and the occasional ferret. People depend on me to take care of their pets' needs. Kind of the way I depend on Grand for all my furniture needs. Grand has solid, good-looking furniture at real down-to-earth prices. And it always fits my budget because I get my credit pre-approved online at GrandFurniture.com. You could say that Grand Furniture is exactly what the doctor ordered. That's Grand! Real furniture for real. Write it for work, write it for play. And we'll match your down payment when you buy a Ford F-150. Plus, choose 2500 cash back or 0% financing at your neighborhood Ford store. Write it like a Ford. Work on that left hand. Thanks for the jest, Mom. Simple, everyday moments can be the perfect time to talk to your kids about not smoking. <laughs> so you don't have to plan a big discussion. Look, there's a dragonfly in the window. A little moment will do just fine. Talk to your kids about not smoking. Smoking cigarettes can hurt your game, too. You. They'll listen. Don't worry, Dad. I won't. For conversation starters, log on to philipmorrisusa.com. Just gives me the feeling like she's not, like, listening to me. Have you tried not saying, like, every other word? What? Remember your ski trip story? Yeah. I was, like, going down the hill. No, and, like, come on, that's And I was, like, me. stuff I that happened to me. Holy. 
It's time to replace your old ride with a new Honda at your Hampton Roads Honda dealer. All Hondas are on sale with drastic savings. Save big on pilots and CRV. It all ends Monday. Visit HamptonRoadsHondaDealers.com. Closed captioning of 13 News is sponsored by Dodge. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. Well, tomorrow morning, lots of sunshine. Temperatures generally probably mid to upper 40s for most of us at 7 a.m. Okay, thanks, Thank Jeff. And that 13 News at 11 Nightline is next. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Now with down payment assistance.